All right, let's talk about the absolute best perfect salad dressing. You know, a nice French one, mustardy, bit of tang to it, all those good things. All right. Now I'm just gonna make a simple salad today, but you can of course use it for any salad. And I want three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Now, this is the whole secret to this recipe. It has to be French mustard. And when I say French, from France. Not, not a local version. And the reason being is because if, if you don't use the French one, and now I don't know the reason, and I'm not criticizing our local mustards, but for some reason it doesn't emulsify. And the whole secret of this recipe is that this dressing emulsifies, like the good French ones. When you go to a restaurant in France and they serve you a salad, there's always a really lovely emulsified, when I say emulsified, I mean a nice thick dressing. So what I've got there is I've got three tablespoons of Dijon mustard and two plump cloves of garlic. And I've got 400 mils here of vegetable oil. Now don't use olive oil guys, it doesn't work for this dressing. It takes over, you know, it's too strong. So just a nice vegetable oil and you do it like you would when you make a mayonnaise, little by little. So once it's combined, you then add a little bit more. And the other thing is I make a decent quantity because I just put it in a Chinese takeaway container and put it in the fridge. It lasts forever. It doesn't separate as long as you've made it properly. So take your time. All right, that's nearly all the oil. And now we add some vinegar, white wine vinegar not just normal vinegar, white wine. And we want 50 mils of that. That'll thin it out a bit, because it was getting rather thick there. And you want it thick, but you don't want it stupidly thick. And to that we then add a good grinding of black pepper and some sea salt. And that is it, my friends. The best vinaigrette you'll ever taste. Well, that's my theory anyway. <laughs> Let's have a taste. Oh, I could eat that just like that. I really could. So I've just got some cos leaves here. As I said, I'm not doing anything fancy, but you could, of course, make a garden salad with tomatoes and everything you like but we're just going to toss that rather well. And please dress it well. There is nothing worse than a salad without a decent amount of dressing. And we'll just grab a plate. And as I would say, any leaves you like. I just happen to have some cos there, so that'll do. But I often just eat this just like this. I really do. I just make myself a salad and nothing much else. Now, just one other little thought. Now I know we keep on reading about Smashed avocado. <laughs> it's not really for me, but I do remember when I first started in restaurants, oh, 60s? Gee, I'm showing my age now, aren't I? We did avocado vinaigrette and it was hugely popular and it seems to have disappeared. Now, I love avocado vinaigrette as long as it's a really good vinaigrette, just like this one. So maybe we can bring that back. So let's just cut an avocado in half get rid of the stone, and this is how you do it. Somebody was saying the other day, how do you get rid of the stone? Well, that's how you get rid of it. And you can have either half or a whole. And this is exactly how we did it in the 60s. And we used to sell, uh, the restaurant seated about 50 or 60, the one that I first worked in. And I reckon we sold uh, 20, portions of avocado every single night. So there we go, the best salad dressing, avocado vinaigrette, far better than smashed avocado, and of course, just a really nice green salad, but you could add anything you like to that. Right, the best dressing you'll ever make.